let me see. Welcome to the night. Welcome to the nightly news. Now today we are going to Europe today. Now, out of all the nations that I've covered and we have covered on the show, none is more interesting than the duo of East and West Germany. Now today we're going to focus on West Germany, but tomorrow or later this evening we'll focus on East Germany. Now what you must know, West Germany was created after the Allied powers joined together their occupation zones to create a big huge West Germany. It encompasses the British zone, the French zone, uh, including the Tsarland, and the United States occupation zone, which is basically most of Bavaria and the southern half of Germany. Now, <clears throat> ever since ever since its introduction Ever since its introduction into NATO in 1950, the West Germans have received plentiful European, especially Western European, Western European and American help. Now this year they're going to look for more, well not help, but they're going to really enchant their forces more and more this year. Now come with me as we tour the East German, well no, the West German, sorry. I'm the, ahead of myself. We're going to tour the West German inventory today and we're going to see the Border, border Patrol on work. And we're actually going to see a lot of what West Germany is going to do today. So, ladies, gentlemen, and NB, um, if you will follow me to the Westerschaft und Westerschaft der Militari. Yes, that's not a real word, but it is a real word. And we'll see today what West Germany is up to, or the Federative Democratic Republic of Germany, or the FDR. Yes. Now, take a walk with me as we go through West Germany and their attempts at modernization in the 1980s. Anyway, enjoy and learn something. Born the 20th of September 1979, West Germany. West Germany has plunged into a $77 billion military modernization program that will solidify its position as the leading military power in Western Europe. Dr. Karl Schnell, one of the government's three state secretaries for defense and a former four-star general, said that the program will answer to what the bond officials will describe as a lack of military tech. Military analysts, non-logical, and economic threats from the Soviet Union and its allies are very important. He said that it will not be easy to get the necessary funds and that the Defense Ministry was already studying long-term proposals that would affect the three service uh, branches of service until the 1990s. All of the weapons involved are the con all the weapons involved are conventional, that is, non-nuclear. So the so their ultimate deployment is unlikely to banish fears inside and outside of the West German combat services and the government over the tactical nuclear imbalance in the European theater of operations. Soviet system superior. The nuclear imbalance between East and West is also determined and is in no small measure by the theater of nuclear forces on both sides. According to a recent official paper on security, the government doctrine concludes that the Soviet weapons, primarily the SS-20 mobile ballistic missiles and the long-range bomber known to the West as Batfire, gives the Soviet Union superiority within the overall balance. Barred by the constitution from manufacturing nuclear, biological and chemical weapons, the West Germans see their principal contribution to their own and Western Europe's security as powerful, modern, conventional forces. The intelligence sources reports that the modernization program has already revived Soviet fears about German military revenge. Soon after the program was announced in Parliament, a Social Democratic member of its Defense Committee reported the Soviet government cut off West Germany from supplies of titanium, a metal news for an in supersonic fighter planes, and in advance submarines. Dr. Schnell and other strategists in the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, or NATO, believes that Western defense in the event of war must be concentrated on halting large-scale armored attacks. So the emphasis on modernizing the army is on the weapons to counter armor. West German military doctrine, like that of the United States Army, holds that the main battle tank is the most powerful anti-tank weapon. Starting this year, the army will deploy 1,800 faster, better, 
armored tanks with a gun that has a greater range than any mounted on any Soviet tank. 5,000 active and reserve tanks. When the new tanks have been assimilated into the army and those now in service are turned over into reserves, the West Germans will have almost 5,000 tanks with units and more of them in storage. Britain has 900 first line tanks, the only ones in Europe comparable to those fielded by West Germany and the West German government. The United States hopes to begin deployment of its new tank late next year or early in 1981. The difference, the difference between the West German program and what the United States officers called American gestures towards modernization is that West Germany has provided funds for most of it and the weapons are for moving into units that will be better suited for, well, war on, well, Germany, I guess. Yeah, Germany. Now, anti-tank missile. So anti-tank missile systems are also being strengthened. A five-fold increase in two, a five-fold increase, including 2,500 missiles with a range of over 2,000 yards, 300 American-made anti-tank weapons with a range of over 3,000 yards, and more than 500 with a range of over 4,000 yards. Some of which will be mounted on over 200 new helicopters. Actually, Dr. Schnell comments that the new program would. Dr. Schnell commented that when the program was complete. West Germany would have amassed 100,000 anti-tank missiles. The Defense Ministry is also planning an additional 400 armored fighter vehicles to support the tanks, expanding anti-aircraft protection and aircraft. Anti-aircraft protection for the ground forces will be supplied by 430 fighting vehicles, each armed with two guns and 400 anti-aircraft launchers, which will be added to the arsenal. Improved American surface-to-air missiles or SAM systems will be installed, as well as new 155mm harrises, the product of West German, British and Italian research and development. The deployment, the development early into the next decade of the 210 Tornado planes is the principal new weapon system for the Air Force. The, another aircraft to be deployed early in the next decade is the Alpha which will replace the Fiat G91. The Kriegsmarine The Navy must also defend the Baltic coast and the North Sea maritime routes, which will carry two-thirds of the vital West German imports to, well, the West. Procurement of what has been procurement has been accelerated as the Soviet squadrons in the Baltic have shown increasing boldness. In addition, the three services have combined to improve the Baltic fortification. The shipbuilding program includes modernization of at least 10 fast patrol boats and 4 destroyers, the latter to be armed with surface-to-air missiles. 12 mine, sweepers, 12 mine sweepers have been converted into mine hunters, and in the early 1980s, the Navy will commission 6 frigates armed with anti-ship missiles and surface-to-air missiles, as well as 2 helicopters each. The Navy Air Force will be strengthened in the addition of 112 tornadoes armed with anti-submarine missiles. The Navy has commissioned 18,400 tons of submarines intended to defend the Baltic and the North Sea, and 173 fast patrol boats to be speeding along the coast of Denmark. Anyway, this has been a nightly news update. I hope you enjoyed. This one is on Europe for the first time in a long time. This one has been our feature presentation on Europe. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. And I'll see you next time. This has been another nightly news outlet. Well, nightly, light, nightly news broadcast. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. And I'll see you next time. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, I'll see you to learn something. Signing out. ENN signing out. The convoy is rolling. The alert usually develops into a field training exercise in which combat elements take up defensive positions or engage in tactical maneuvers. Frequently, the maneuvers are large scale, testing the operational readiness of major cavalry units such as squadrons. These operational readiness tests, ORTs, are carried out under simulated battlefield conditions.
attack and counterattack are executed with the aggressiveness and verve that are typically cavalry in style. The maneuvers are often joined by West German paramilitary troops whose job is border defense. They are called Bundesgrenschutz, BGS for short. Here, they are acting as enemy soldiers, a role they frequently reverse with their American allies. Although live ammunition is not used, the mock skirmish is fought in deadly earnest. More than skill in skirmishing is at stake.